Hey guys, right, so we're gonna go over a quick little video with my boat again today. Uh, this time I've done some upgrades, spent some time in the water, done quite a bit of fishing with this boat. So I've got some things to add to my dislikes, got some things to add that I really do like. We'll go a quick little overview of the boat, and we're gonna do a, a time lapse video about a micro power pole anchor day. I'm gonna show you how I'm acting on the boat, little things I'm doing to it. Let's put it together and see what happens, all right? All right, so start off with the boat. First thing you'll notice, I added a Minn Kota power drive. It's 55 pound thrust. Um, I, I bought the kit that comes with the pontoon mount here. It works pretty well. I put backing plates on the inside. I did re-drill two holes inside here. It's pretty stable. A little, little troublesome getting this undone, but I, I've rigged a, a workaround. I run power cord on mine. I use this run back on a handle back to my seat back there to pull the motor unit up and down. Then I rig this one as a lower one and it pulls my release down to unlock the trolling motor. Like I said, paracord here. I did go for the pedal drive version. I got my depth finder mounted. I don't have it on the boat. I just come back and fish in terms of the night. So you can see it quick. Um, I'm running a full size car battery in my boat. So one thing I did notice, when I set a full-size battery down here, it started swaying my floor down. And to combat that, I just went and chopped me a piece of plywood off. Now I set my battery on here and it disperses the weight out of the whole entire hole. It don't sag on hot summer days and batteries get heavy. Uh, one thing I will add, the boat has definitely impressed me about fish ability more than I thought it would. I've got a lot more used to the boat at secondary stability. Uh, one thing I still not fond of is it, when you drag this boat, you just drag it by the nose and you're dragging it on a non-replaceable front nose piece. Well, you have to drag this boat by the keel or on the rudder, I'm sorry. And it's, it's, it's wearing the rudder down. So you really kind of forced hands on this boat to either have a trailer or the boondocks kit or the native sidekicks so that way you can keep that tail end up off the ground and roll it this boat's really heavy especially rigged when i got all my stuff in here i don't know what this boat weighs but it, it's it's chunk um i was running the anchor rigid on the back liked it pretty well but i decided to go for the the power pole top attachment i think it'd just be a little smoother quicker either operation still hadn't done up my milk crate yet uh, one thing i am looking at is a yak gadget they make a uh, low profile slanted HD uh, rear crate thing and it's sloped at a 45 down through there. So all your boxes are facing this way. It'll fit the 36 and the 3700 series and has six rod holders built onto it. I'm looking at that over the, the black box. Um, I think it may be a better way to go. I'm gonna see it in person sometime this week. One thing I'll notice here that I did do, see this little plug right here. That's where my battery plugs in. When I set my battery here, I plug it in there. And I mounted one of them up here. So when I take my trolling motor out of my boat, I can cap this thing off. This little cap goes right in here. It's not hard to do it one-handed here. Keeps everything out of it. And I take one of the boat, same thing. Nice and hidden. I put the pedal drive back in, don't pay no, it don't get in the way of nothing. People, if you ain't tried these lure lock boxes right here, you need to get you a set. Them things are handy for a kayak because I'm always having the box at an odd angle. And my stuff's not flopping around, stays put where I want it to be. Let's see, other than that, I've really enjoyed fishing the boat. I've had some good luck with this boat so far in the tournament season. I only got to fish two tournaments. Uh, won the first one I fished. Uh, second one I got to fish the other night. I only got second place and big fish. I lost the winning fish at the last 20 minutes of the tournament at the nose of the boat. I had two fish and needed three to win, but it is what it is. I, I'm able to cover water, fish where I want to fish. The boat's doing good. All right, so now we'll fast forward on, and here'll be a little time lapse of me putting the micro anchor on. Show you some things I've done, some things I'm. You know, I hope things make it easy before you put it on. All right, so the first thing I'm doing here when I'm mounting this thing, it comes these great old big screws and will not work on a kayak. I'm useless. 
what I did. I went to my local tractor supply. It's one and a quarter by 20 thread. And then I got one inch and three quarter Phillips head bolts. And they fit exactly back in these, these little plugs right here. That's what they are. The one and a quarter by 20 thread. The one inch seems to be working pretty well. About three quarter just in case I need them. It's like a dollar fifty for each pack. And then get the, the head unit we'll mount on here. We'll wire it up, get it going. Like I said, I'm gonna set this thing up and let's let it let it run. We'll fast forward it so you don't have to sit through from boring stuff while I'm going back and forth. Maybe uh, if you have any questions, leave them comments, try to get them answered. I appreciate everybody for coming to the channel. Appreciate everybody subscribing to the channel. Thank you.